Hi guys, I just said I'd show you some issues I'm having with my pebble. Um, I'll show you, I suppose. This is pebble connecting. And it'll just sit here forever. It'll just literally not connect. If I go into <coughs> my settings, settings, Bluetooth, it's on and it's connected. There's my phone, what's not? What's this? So, let's go through what I do to try and fix it, and it doesn't do anything. So, <clears throat> firstly, um, I... Sorry, it's a new phone, I'm trying to get used to Samsung's Galaxy S4's shit way of deleting apps. So, app is now gone. I'm um, going to my Bluetooth settings. Um, unpair the phone. Alright, so the phone's now unpaired. I'll even go so far as to bloody reset the phone. Restart that phone. Okay, on the watch, I will go down. Forget this. So now it's not paired with anything. I'll even do a reset on this. Alright, so the phone and watch are now both reset. Mm. The phone's doing it. Um, I'll take this a step further. I'll even do a factory reset on the watch. Okay. Pebble is back up and it says that the pebble is ready to go. So watching other videos and stuff, um, people have said that what you should do is <clears throat> pair your phone first. Okay, so let's do that. Bluetooth scan. It'll find the phone, it's easy to pair the phone and the watch together. There we go, it's found it, no problem. Hit that, yes, pair with that please. Lovely, there we go. And even the code is the same, 530822, yes. Normally the phone says the same thing. Same code, so it's not like two different codes are trying to... Tickets. There we go. Five three zero eight two two. Same code. So the phone is saying that it's paired, and if I go into the watch settings, it will say that it's also paired. So now what people are saying to do is go down and download the app. So let's do that. We still search Pebble. This is like my tenth time downloading this stupid app. Install. I've emailed Pebble support, I haven't gotten anything, well I've got the normal response back, automated message, I've responded to that message again, I haven't, still haven't gotten anything back, so we'll see if anyone here watching this has come up with a better solution. Okay, so obviously it's saying here, tap to enable Pebble accessibility service, fine, I'll do that. Pebble. I even turned my tasker off just in case that was affecting it. So now Pebble accessibility is turned on. And connect please. No, let's change the screen here saying ready for update. And every time I touch this, it will switch the screen over. So it's obviously connected in some way, but it's not doing anything. Okay, um, hopefully you can help in some way or have some sort of advice for me um, but yeah from here I'll <coughs> cancel the update go back just 
try connecting it again. It'll just sit there. Click, and it even pops up saying hello. And if you're really quick, you can read down here. My number and my phone pops up. 